Praise the Lord, precious saints. And today I would like to do a prayer to pray against any reprisal attacks or any retaliation of the enemy that would come by way of you entering into warfare, self-deliverance or, or even partaking of any fasting. We've got to understand that spiritual warfare is serious business and we always need to take a strategic precaution in every backlash that may also come our way. Now the Bible says according to 1 Peter 5 8 it says be sober minded and alert your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. See, while this may sound scary, the next verse that we see in the scripture, according to verse 9, is it says and offers you exactly what you need to do to handle these spiritual attacks. Verse 9 says, resist him standing firm in your faith in order to stand firm in your faith precious saints you need the word of God and the word of God is powerful and faith comes from hearing and the hearing of the word of God and this is why you need to meditate on God's word and also stay in God's word now according to Psalm 34 verse 17 it says the righteous cry out to the Lord and he hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles that's just a reminder that God is all we need to overcome spiritual attacks precious saints and according to Psalm 44 verse 5 it says and through you we will push back our adversaries through your name we will trample down those who rise up against us hallelujah this is in particular talking about the spiritual battle we are facing and according to luke 10 verse 19 it says behold i have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. This is giving you dominion. Jesus has given us authority over Satan, over his minions that we may overcome in every aspect. According to Deuteronomy 3 verse 22, it says, Do not fear them. For the Lord your God is the one fighting for you. That is a reminder for you today. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways precious saints. Now, putting on the full armor of God is also very vital. As according to Ephesians 6 verse 11, it says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. There is power. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. See, these verses carry all the answers that you have and attacks will come precious saints but we should never be scared because God has already conquered the world according to John 16 33 he says I have already overcome 
I have already overcome this world. I've already overcome the enemy. And he will enable you to be strengthened to overcome all the powers of the enemy. So our prayer is vital. Staying in the word is vital. Yes, the devil is vengeful. He's vindictive and hateful. And he may try to come against you. And demons do not operate like human beings. So we've got to understand that the power of our prayers is in the word of God. The power of our prayers is allowing God to fight the battle. And we also stand firm in the Lord. So let me pray this prayer so that you can have power against all reprisal attacks and any transference of spirits or any retaliation from the enemy in any way, shape or form. So let us pray right now. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before your mercy seat today. And through the shed blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for granting us the privilege of meeting a new day. We also uh, thank you for giving us the privilege of partaking of listening to prayers, of self-deliverance, or the ministering unto others today in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for sharing with us your wonderful ministry of healing and deliverance today. And we thank you for the healings that we have seen, that we are yet to see, and what we will experience in the days to come after this ministration in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I cover each person today that is listening. Lord, today with the blood of Jesus Christ, we soak our families, our relations, our homes, our work, our food, our money, and our friends with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, today. We cover the whole air, our houses, land, family, and friends with the blood of Jesus Christ. For Satan, it is written, according to the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Today, we use the blood of Jesus to cover us now and all those that are listening in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we break every power of darkness that has entangled us. We destroy all the webs of Satan against us in the name of Jesus Christ. From all we have seen and experienced today with all sickness, oppression and evil that we may have encountered in some way, shape or form, we cleanse ourselves of any sadness, any negativity, any despair that we may have picked up also. If our ministry has ever been tampered or tempted us to be in anger, impatience or lust, cleanse us from all those temptations and replace them with your love, with your joy and your peace today in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, if there has been any transference of any spirits that may have attached themselves to us to oppress us anyway, we command them today, spirits of the earth, air, fire or water of the underworld to depart now and go straight back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose ourselves from all the powers of darkness against us in Jesus' mighty name. We destroy and nullify all the curses covenants and initiation from Satan and his agents against us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy all spells, incantations, curses, covenants, uh, initiation, manipulation from any negative spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. In the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we come against all the demons that Satan has assigned to attack us spiritually or physically today in Jesus name for it is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment that we shall condemn for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me so in Jesus name we come against all the powers of darkness 
in our dreams, causing dream pollution in our lives. Yes, we bind and cast the demons that attack us through dreams and we command them to go back to the pit of hell in Jesus' mighty name. And we are signed, sealed and protected by God in and through His blood and hidden in Christ. And we know that nothing can separate us from God's love, joy and peace. And where we have become connected to any contrary spirit, Lord, please cut us free by the sword of your spirit, the word of God, from any transference, spiritual or emotional attachment during the time of ministration that we have listened or we have partaken of. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over all the enemy's hooks, lines and tentacles, your roots, attachments, and we command you in the name of Jesus Christ to remove them from us completely now in an entirety in Jesus' mighty name. Remove them now, you foul spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash us today, Lord, thoroughly with your precious blood, Jesus, and restore us back to your original design with renewed strength from any depleted energy that was used as a result of our service to you to see all captives free, including ourselves, by the power of your spirit today in Jesus' mighty name. Come Holy Spirit, renew us, fill us anew with your power your love and joy. Strengthen us where we have felt weak and clothe us with your light. Fill us with your life. And Lord Jesus, please send your holy angels to minister to us and our families and to guard and protect us from all sickness, harm and accidents and guard us all wherever we travel, giving us travel mercies and grant us all peaceful nights, rest and sleep in Jesus' mighty name. Covered in your blood, seal that which was accomplished in all of our lives today with the blood of Jesus Christ and protect us all from any reprisal attacks from the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. We cover our families, friends in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we declare Psalm 91 over them their homes and their properties in Jesus' mighty name. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise today, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for the cross. We thank you for the resurrection and the resurrection of new life for each person. Come and touch them. Come and fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Touch them, Lord. Fill them in Jesus' mighty name. Touch them in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer, we encourage you to save this prayer that you may use at any time and also send to a friend or family and you may use it at any time to listen, to be encouraged, to cover yourself, to protect you. So I just encourage you, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.